International Affair with Boss Lady on the Cut Channel, Dash Radio, the all-new Dash Radio with the all-new star from Pittsburgh, Yeah, Boaz. The album is Intuition. Now, you've called yourself the Pittsburgh Nas. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I made a comment actually on Twitter earlier that I feel like Nas, just to lighten things up a little bit, is mm-hmm. the best dressed rapper of all time. Best mm-hmm. dressed, yeah. I would say. Um, you're not a slouch no. in the style no. department. <laughs> did you um, did you start paying attention to your image a little more of late or were you always someone that was into fashion? I, I think I've always had a pretty good fashionable sense and and i really got to salute Nas on that too because mm. he was one of those people in the source so you might have seen him on the cover of the source and his swag was always a thousand so and it felt authentic know. right oh, yeah, he never definitely. felt uncomfortable no, you, you, you in what could, he was wearing i think you can always tell those things mm. and, and even something like andre 3000 who may throw some shoulder pads on he kind of does it with a certain swag mm-hmm. so you know i guess you know you got different strokes for different folks right how would you describe your personal style uh International. International. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna tell you why though, because you know, as musicians, we do a lot of traveling, so mm-hmm. you can't really stay subjected mm. to your state of style. You know what I mean? When I'm in California, I try to I try to dress like a oh, you're like a Californian. A yeah, definitely, man. Oh, you know, well, if I go to Cuba, I'm gonna throw on the the big you know the big Cuban hat and all that. Uh, you know, we are gonna do what we do, right. man. So. Like, I just try to, I, yeah. and I, I like to just pick up different swag from everywhere, man. So I learn something every time I, I travel somewhere different. So how, uh, what, what in Pittsburgh? If I was to date a dude from Pittsburgh, yeah, how would he dress? Like what, like what's <laughs> the? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, uh, that's a pretty good question because I guess that that really varies with personality, mm-hmm. man. I think if you would meet a guy of my characteristics, he would look something like me, you know? Okay. Maybe some, some khakis and some blue jeans, some sneakers. Coordinate, and a, though. And the sneakers oh, are it, matching the hats. So it, it, got to a coordinate. Coordinate. it got to coordinate, okay. no question. Or, you know, you might, meet a, you might meet a downtown guy who, you know, wears a suit, but he's cleaned up, right? You know what I mean? Okay. And, you know, it, but then you, hopefully you just don't like that weird old guy that just doesn't like to dress. But he may make a little bit of money, but he just really doesn't give a shit about well, fashion. Well, I like I'm kind of like nah, trapped in the '90s, so I, no I, I like guys that like I like yeah, I like hip classic like hip hop style. Huh? I do, yeah, man, definitely. What what's something you would never wear? Skinnies. <laughs> I mean, We'd never see Boas in some skinny jeans. No, nah. nah. it's probably the tightest they're gonna get. Right yeah, now. yeah, they're kind of just nice and everything is tailored straight. now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yes, everything man. is a little tailored. So for your lady or ladies, how like what? What do you like to see girls in that would catch your eye? Like, mm, I mean, really? I mean, I guess I really like the girl that can catch my eye formally. You know. Like I'm checking you out right now on the sweats and the and the leggings and you're just keeping it natural, right? But mm-hmm. you know, it's 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 a certain way you could do that, you know. So I I really like more the formal dress woman, honestly. Okay. If I'm a oh, like so the I girl, I think. You today. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 this is a formality. I'm, I'm just saying I'm really not. What do you mean? By I'm not into the booty shorts and you know. I mean, I like to look at a fat ass if it walks past. I oh, know, and you posted something on your Instagram like asking if a girl's ass was real. Yeah, I mean, it, that, we was walking through Times Square and this girl was like a phenomenon Wait, in the you middle took of the photo of that. Yeah, I that took was, that photo. That was a photo that you took. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, her yeah. ass looked crazy. So I'm like. I gotta ask my fans what's up with this, and we was just fucked up by it for a couple minutes. But you know, even it's still, you know, walking away, we was like, ah, nah, uh, you know what I mean. So I, I mean, so you don't mess with the fake body parts. I mean, I think at this point, I'm just really not attracted. I try not to, you know, I try to take my sexual attraction and mm. push it back in my mind when I really like somebody, you know, and mm. just let those things happen right. naturally. So, so clothing wise, you like a girl doesn't matter if she's casual or. Yeah dressed up but she yeah, has just, to have something yeah just you know i mean not too like revealing. i told i'm a you muslim man revealing. so customarily i just like my women covered right that's well, just what it is muslims stick to that but i get it no i you gotta uh, the, the, the custom varies i mean they don't yeah. always have to have a veil but at least have on a high neck long dress or right it's uh, something it's nice covered. and formal you know okay i get Definitely. you so the album is called intuition yeah and i want to know if someone hasn't Listen to a Boaz track just yet. Mm-hmm. Why should they pick this particular project up? Uh, I think because it's it's so good for just a middle aged American right now. Mm. All nationalities, whatever you like to do. I think it, the album is just good enough to touch 
everybody that's dealing with the same issues I'm dealing with is just far as becoming responsible. You know what I'm saying? So is that what you're dealing with right now at this point in your life? Just yeah, becoming responsible. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, and it really setting in. You know that. Right. <laughs> Not just becoming, yeah, but no staying. God, ain't no question. Right. So you know, I mean. There's a lot of, and it's not just, I guess, the pleasures of it. You know, it, there's a lot of uh, realities to it. You know what I mean? And things where you can really be like, well, damn. I uh, I guess superstars do come down to reality. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, just really trying to give a, a, a album that's commonly spoken and easily understandable. Mm-hmm. But, you know, at the same time, thought-provoking and, mm-hmm. I guess, enhancing. It's so funny with intuition. I I didn't even think men had intuition because when you think of intuition, <laughs> you always think of a female's yeah, intuition. Yeah, somebody told me that, and I'm like, well, how could you say that when you know? Well, you're all part of mankind, right? And mm-hmm. and I think everybody was created equal for a reason, you know. And you know, so everything you have, I have. Mm. Vice versa, mm. except for you know, I guess the sexual transmission, the, the physical, the which phys- makes a union. The right? physical is different, which so, does make a union. Yeah, but connects. you know, everything that comes from God that He put in us, we we both have. Of course, men have intuition. Yeah, you know, I don't, don't know if they're using it, it or not. Exactly. But yeah, I use mine. There you go. All right, where are you on social media? Boaz four one two. Everywhere. Everywhere. On everywhere.